So, you're the one we were looking for in the village. You've come a long way for someone who's never been shown how to kill. I will restore peace, whether you like it or not. Peace? There was never peace, and there never will be. In a peaceful world, an order like ours would not have existed in the first place. Those are big words. So who are you? Oh, how rude of you not to introduce myself. I am the leader of the Derwish Assassins, and you are the target of my mission. So you're the undead I must defeat to restore the balance. <laughs> yes, I may be undead, but I am just the beginning. I am nothing more than a mere gatekeeper. My lord is your true enemy. Oh, it is a pity that you will never meet him. Not in this world, anyway. For now, I complete my mission. My master will be pleased. Of course, with the one threat to our order out of the way, there'll be no one left to stop. Your ancient order ends here. I may teach my assassins to kill fast, but just for you, I think I'll take my time.
You have taken the first step, but this is just the beginning. The power of your stroke has grown, but your powers with the dead are close to non-existent. You cannot succeed with brute force alone. You must master your spiritual energy as well. You must walk in the footsteps of the dead to perceive them and bind them so that they become your allies. The creature was just a slave and not the master. She spoke truly. She is but one of many. The undead Archon already rules the city of Venice. Soon they may rule you all. This was all in his plan, and his plan will succeed if you don't heed my words. Who's he? Tell me more. Sophistos is the only one who can help you. He was entrusted with destroying the most dangerous tool in your world to prevent it from falling into the hands of our enemy, the Black Grimoire. What is the Black Grimoire? You must go and find Sophistos and ensure that the Grimoire has been destroyed. I'll do anything it takes to see Benedict again. He is always with you. You know that. He would do anything to protect you, but his devotion leads him into trouble. You can't always rely on his help. Now go, my daughter. I will find Sophistos and the Black Grimoire. I hope for your sake you're right. Is it so hard to have faith in me? It's not you I have no faith in. One last time, Sophistos! Will you work with me and tell me where the Black Grimoire is? I will never collaborate with you, servant of evil. I am disappointed that you decline. him back to where you took him. No one will look for him there, and the rats will not leave much evidence. So, you must be the troublemaker. I'm still amazed that you managed to slay one of our order, but don't think you stand a chance against me! I was born on the streets of Jericho. My mother and father were murdered by scum when I was a young child. Their ashes I kept by my side since that day. As I grew, I grew stronger. Fueled by rage and blinded by vengeance, I trained. Until one day, I took my revenge, and the murderers fell like flies to my wrath. From that day on, no one dared stand against me. With my bare hands, I built an empire by making allies and letting blood. And finally, my alliance with the undead Archon made me immortal. You are the only threat to the plan. None of us knew you existed. But this ends here, now. It'll be my pleasure to kill another of the undead five. If only you knew how many people had said that right before they died. Hit me with everything you've got. I won't even break a sweat. <laughs>
came too late. You are right, Father. I apologize for my failure. With Sophistos gone, our link to the Black Grimoire is broken. The one good thing is that the undead Archon is now as clueless as we are. We can't take any more chances. You must find Sophistos. Find him? He's dead. His corpse is on the bottom of the river. You disappoint me. Use your senses. His corpse didn't sink to the riverbed. It was taken off the boat and hidden in his former dwelling, as the Persian wraith demanded. And death is not as final as it might seem. So I must find Sophistos' corpse to recover the Black Grimoire? Yes, but be quick. Your enemy has not yet discovered you. But this will not be true for much longer. Their allies are beginning to stir, and these are much harder to trace. Hide yourself. Stay in shadow. I will find Sophistos. Now go. Find Sophistos' corpse. Maybe you can find something useful. Don't worry. Your tool will not disappoint you. Go! She escaped! And she killed Hector! I thought I had chosen the best. We are the best. And what does that say of the rest? Victor, my dear, let me put it this way. Two of us are dead. You promised immortality. What makes you think you're so unsusceptible yourself? Not even your creepy little bookworm seem very effective. He can only make us godlike if the book is found. Did you not listen? He explained it all before. Shut up, Black Pearl. Your opinion is of no relevance here. I did not leave my people to listen to your run-down, ill-bred tattle. I gave my future to Victor so that he can make me strong. Strong enough to rule my people, and I will fulfill my oath to him. My war beasts will find this girl, and they will tear her to pieces. Maybe we should let you talk more, after all. It's odd. The more she speaks, the more I seem to lose my liking for her cute little face. I'm sure His Highness will have no problem surrendering his authority for the cause of the greater good. Ah, what the hell. I was never too fond of the Arsenal district anyway. I will spread death and terror in the streets until my oath is considered fulfilled. Show them your temper, my young princess. Finally, you are mine. I will take great pleasure in grinding your skull into dust. You seem confident, perhaps overly so. You should remember I've survived everything you've thrown at me so far, even your poison. What makes you think you can defeat me now? I have been watching you for a long time. My master did not believe me, but I was always sure that it was you who killed the others. You are fighting with your heart, as am I. With your heart? Your heart is as dead as a stone. You have no right to dwell in the world of the living. You are nothing but a zombie. You know nothing about me. This is my land. I was born and chosen to be the ruler of my tribe. And haven't you done well so far? Shut up! I did what was best for my people. Necromancy runs strong in my family. We are like gods, sent to watch over our subjects. But you... You are just a mortal. I was once like you, weak. But the bond with my lord, Victor, has given me the power to protect my people forever! You call this protection? Look at what you've done. One day, they will understand that I'm only doing what's right. But you're so young, you don't know what's right. Victor has poisoned your mind, corrupted you with his lies, don't you see? Silence! I am doing this for my people, and you will not interfere with my plans. So die! Die in the heart of my homeland! Die in the shadow of the ever-living tree of life! Die and let your blood water my earth!
nourish my land, feeding my people. Die! Die!
We cannot defeat each other. Our powers are equally matched. You have earned my respect. Of course, it's a shame that we had to fight before I could see it. Still, I am beginning to see the truth in your words. My land was indeed cursed by the choice I made, and I am sorry for that. Victor is the root of all evil. I have to defeat him. I agree. I finally agree. His veil of treachery has been lifted from my eyes, and I know that I have a price to pay for my mistakes. So, although it will undoubtedly lead to my destruction, I am willing to help, to help you stop Victor. Victor is growing increasingly paranoid with each day that passes. Nevertheless, he remains a powerful foe. His magic can destroy even the most powerful of warriors. But there is a way past. Here, take this flask. It's filled with my tears, which are nothing but dust. The dust of the dead. If you attacked Victor as you are now, he would strike you down without batting an eyelid. But when this dust is applied to a garment, it becomes as if it were a shield. Strong enough to withstand the most powerful necromancy, even Victor's. Get a dress and use this dust and you will be able to enter the palace. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Victor, but it will take more than just your Moonblade to finish this fight. It will take spirit, belief and strength, all of which I sense in you. I have lifted your curse. Now go! In the time that remains for me, I shall make my country blossom again. For the sake of us all, I pray that my time will not last too long. Thank you. Now, farewell, my sister. But come back any time you please. You can be sure you'll be welcome. There is one last thing. Yes? I have no ship for my journey home. The dark ship will be at your service from now on. Thank you for everything. Bring it all to an end, sister. It is your destiny. You're finally here. What a pity. You're just too late. Look, my doge is constructing the final sentence of the Black Grimoire. Oh, I've waited so long for this day. First, I get to kill him. And then, I read the final spell. And the old order will cease to exist. Well, I'd hate to keep you waiting much longer. Yet, somehow... The Council couldn't take it. Perhaps they didn't want me to be more powerful than they, so they dropped me. It was my right. It was my destiny. Your destiny is to die by my blade. No, you've got nothing to do with destiny. Your birth was forbidden by their rules, just as my studies were. And still, they allowed you to be used as a tool. And that's all that you are. A tool in their hands, with no free will. Maybe I am a tool, but I will fight to restore the balance. But none of this matters now. I will claim what is mine. It'll take more than an old man to stand in my way. Don't worry, I won't be alone. The city of Venice will stand at my side. I will take their lives, and they will join with me, fighting the good fight. What? Oh, Victor, why are you taking my life? I will answer them long and true. You're dying because of Scarlet. They die because of you. No. What? No, 
What did you do? It's too late now. As of today, Venice is nothing more than a tomb. A ghost town. All because of you. It is time to end history. Now we fight. The only story that is going to end now is yours. Die!
Release them. Release the souls. Father! Father! Why aren't you helping? What are you talking about? Help me, Father! Release them! No! I want to stay alive! I don't want to die! I will end this here and now. Fine. End it. And take him with you. What'll happen now? That's up to the people. It's always up to the people. The things that happen are due to the decisions they make. That is, as long as they don't try to cross the borders. I crossed the borders. I made you cross them. And what will become of me now? That, again, is entirely up to you. You have already chosen a path. I'm sure you will go on to follow it. But for a long time, or so I hope, you will travel this path without me. Farewell, my daughter. See you in another life. Farewell, father. <laughs>